Hey everyone, my name is Xavier Garcia and Professor Miller asked if I could just make this quick video discussing my journey from community college to graduate from a university and now be in a position where I'm applying to MD-PhD programs. So a little bit about myself, I graduated high school with a 1.8 GPA. I never took the SAT, I never took the ACT, and I just never applied myself in high school. So when I got to community college, I felt that I was already at a disadvantage. So in order to overcome this, after my classes were over, I would go to the library and self-teach myself everything that I missed out on in high school. So I would buy high school math books, English, and just self-teach myself while trying to keep up with my class assignments. And on top of that, I was working multiple jobs. What kept me going during that difficult time was my mother's words. And she told me that she depended on me to give her a better life. So... That was the motivation I needed to pursue higher education, but also the motiva motivation I needed to continue moving forward when things were difficult. And things did get difficult, but thankfully I was, over I was able to overcome those challenges and I received President's highest honor for every semester I was at community college and I received a full scholarship to the University of Southern California. But just as important, I had a support system at my community college. I was part of a program called RISE, which is a pipeline program for underrepresented students. And I enrolled as a tutor because I was successfully navigating the educational system and I wanted to give back because I knew how difficult that was. And what that program provided me was a family away from home. And what I mean by that is I was a first generation college student, so I didn't really know what I was doing. But that program introduced me to other individuals that were trying to overcome these challenges as well. And it gave me that support to just connect with people that felt like I was similar with. In addition, it provided me with great mentor mentors. So one example was an individual who went through the program, went to the University of California, Berkeley, and he was now at the University of Michigan Medical School. So the program gave me his email. I emailed him and um, just introduced myself. And he was asking me questions, but he asked me what I was doing before transferring from community college to University of Southern California, USC. And I told him, I was like, man, I'm just gonna chill. Like I went through all that difficult of community college that I just wanted a time for myself, you know? And he told me not to do that. He told me to take advantage of every summer to make the most and grow. So he encouraged me to apply to a program at the University of Michigan that it's a summer research program and it focuses on health disparities. So I, was, I did not know what health disparities were. I witnessed it growing up, but I didn't know there was a terminology that was just doing research on it. And, and I really wanted to do research in the lab because during my time at community college i was performing research under um, dr miller and i am forever grateful for that because it introduced me to these concepts of collecting data analyzing data and presenting um, the data so i knew i was interested in research so that opportunity um, stand out to me because i did want to perform research so thankfully I was accepted with his help editing essays um, and all. And then I went to the University of Michigan for one summer. They paid for everything. And I performed cancer research. And this was my first time understanding or even researching cancer. I was, um, I was a neuroscience major at community college and I was very interested in um, Alzheimer's disease. But they assigned me to a cancer lab and I fell in love. I, I, I started to learn the techniques and I, I, had, I had an idea that maybe, maybe I can pursue research, but I knew I wanted to be a physician first. So that was a wonderful experience and I, the only reason I knew about that was because of this mentor um, through my, the program. So when I got to the University of Southern California, I knew I needed to continue doing research because number one, it stands out my application for medical school, but I was also interested in it. And I was accepted to join a lab at the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles and we were doing pediatric cancer and P 
pediatric cancer, the field that I do want to go into. So it's perfect. And I absolutely fell in love with the field. But the most important thing I took from that experience was that my mentor, the who ran the lab, she was an MD, PhD. And she asked me, do you want to do you want to pursue a physician scientist career? And I told her, not really. Um, I wanted to be a physician first to serve my community, but she was telling me how I could do both and the benefit of research. And to be to be truthful, I never really had anybody pushing me um, to consider that career. So I would tell her maybe, maybe I'm interested, but I didn't really want to do it. So after graduating from USC um, with honors, I took time off because I was interested in research, but I, I knew I wanted to be a physician. So I didn't know exactly if I wanted to do it together or not. So the first job I accepted out of graduating was at the UCLA as a, a clinical researcher. So here I worked with patients who were undergoing clinical trials. And what that showed me was that the benefit of research um, to create these novel treatment that may be better than the standard of cares that were available. So after doing that for a year, I, I knew I wanted to go back to research. And that was a time during the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. So when I was applying to pursue research at the National Institute of Health, which I am at now, I knew my time would be limited in a lab, a research lab. So I joined a computational lab because I've always been fascinated by technology ever since I was a child. So this was an opportunity now where I can combine technology and medicine and I was accepted to the program. So I moved to Maryland where I am currently doing computational research at the NIH. And then recently I took my MCAT. So my first standardized exam. So I felt a lot of pressure um, when I was taking this exam because I never took the SAT. Um, but with the studying that I developed in community college, the time management that I had to develop in community college, working multiple jobs, balancing schoolwork, I applied all that to my exam. So when I took the exam, thankfully I scored a 98th percentile. So I did really well on it, which opens up multiple doors. Um, so currently I am pursuing an MD PhD program. I decided that's what I wanted to do because of the field of biotechnology and the impact it could have for communities like mine. Um, I hope I hope this video showed you that the sky is the limit. Um, when I started a community college, I would have never imagined myself um, where I am now. And in fact, I actually, I still want to be a surgeon. Uh, I do want to pursue the field of surgery. But when I started community college, I didn't think I had what it, I didn't think I would be able to become a surgeon. And the reason why I say that is because I felt I was already at a disadvantage at a community college like when when I thought of a surgeon I thought of people who went to Harvard Yale but I remember my mom told me a story about a friend she knew who went to community college who ended up becoming a surgeon so I told myself if he can do it and I can do it and that's what gave me that extra push to succeed um, in community college to succeed at um, USC but come to find out that that's, she made up that person. Um, and the reason my mother said that was because she knew that I'm very competitive. I have this drive in me that I can succeed if I set my mind to. So she just needed me to see that it was a possibility and I, and I shot for it. So I hope my story um, just shows you that Whatever you want to accomplish, you can, even though community college might seem that we're, we are behind or we are at a disadvantage. And the truth is we have to just work harder, but that doesn't mean we can um, accomplish it. So feel free to reach out to me. Dr. Miller has my email and I would love to connect and provide any support I can.